first? Yes, you can. Go on. I think I know what it is. Oh, it's really heavy. It must be a rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, thank you. It's wonderful. Good choice. Well done. Is there anything to go with it? I don't be so ungrateful. <laughs> Under the bed. <laughs> See how it works. child exploded. <laughs> Is there no hope? Hope? Oh, yes. A little bit of solda. New valve, perhaps? Yes, we'll have this going again in next to no time. You can all help. Can girls help men do this? They can do anything boys can do, can't they, Daddy? Yes, of course they can. Two gentlemen to see you, sir. I've shown them into the library. Remind me to install a moat and a drawbridge, would you? So that nobody can disturb us. <laughs> the twins soon saw that he could run the faster, so they climbed the spreading chestnut tree. The baker, his face the colour of raspberries, stood at the foot of the tree and wondered where the insolent twins had gone. A conch had dropped on his head, out of the tree whereupon his face turned from raspberry to the darkest beetroot. I wish we did have a moat and drawbridge. Please, um, the master would like you to step into the study. I think he's had bad news. My guess is it's a death in the family or the bank busted. Or... That will do, Ruth. You can go. I'm afraid father's been called away. But why Darling, not? go to bed. Mummy, it wasn't bad news, was it? I can't tell you anything tonight, my pet. To bed, now. Why has Mother gone to town? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. You'll know soon enough. Peter, you mustn't ask. Why not? Mother will tell us everything we need to know. Goody, goody. Bobby's right and you're a twit. Oh, don't. I'm sure there's been some calamity. Let's not make things worse by being horrid to each other.
I know from what I hear from the others that he is in this house at this very blessed minute. And if... My darlings, I want to tell you something. The men that came last night did bring very bad news. And Father will be away for some time. But they... I promise you won't ask me or anyone else about this trouble. It's about business. And you know how hard business is to understand, don't you? Is it something to do with Daddy's work for the government? Yes. Now, it's time for bed. Don't you worry, my darlings. It will all come right in the end. I've asked Aunt Emma to come and stay. I can hear somebody's shoes dragging on the ground. I know what you're doing, Peter. Dentata variegata. Charles II. 1660 to 1685. Edward IV. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure it really matters. Of course it does. 1461 to 1483. Thank you. Come to a bad end, you horrible little child. If you don't bend your ways, you'll go to where your precious father's gone. Now, my little loves. Everything is settled. We're going to leave this house and go and live in the country. I know you'll love it. Is Aunt Emma coming with us? No, it'll just be us. We're only taking a few things from here. Just the useful ones. Why? Because we've got to play at being poor for a bit. Yeah. I know things shouldn't matter, but well, you get used to them, don't you? But why do they have to take that? You know what Mother says. Well, I think a rocking horse would be very useful. Don't.
Wake up, loves. We're here. Why is it always you? Come on. Let's catch them up, okay? All right. <laughs> There's the house. I wonder where Mrs. Viney is. Who? The woman I employed to clean the place and leave supper for us. home. The train was that late. So, what are we expected to do now? Yes, well, it's it's a tricky one. <laughs> we can uh, we can use the key under the doormat. That's what we do around here. Nobody ever gets broken into it, unless they deserve it. Walked off with the money, not left us anything to eat at all. We'll have to open one of our own cases. What's that? It'll be rats. You're unlucky, it'll be big rats. Right, well, I'll bid you good night. Good night. cheerful in the dark except owls and bats. <laughs> I wish Father was here. He'd get that packing case open just like that. What are you kicking me for, Bobby? I wasn't. It's very cold for this time of year. Stop trying to be so grown up. Peter. Well, you've often wanted something to happen, and now it has. I'm sure there aren't really any rats. No. 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 Ourselves. I don't know how to do anything. Shh. Must let Mummy sleep.
是那个。Mummy's going to write stories and try to sell them. We could help by buying some. Oh, no. <laughs> we must make sure she isn't interrupted when she's upstairs writing. Yes, except to bring her tea. Or stroke her hair. I might want to. What if Mummy doesn't sell any stories? Perhaps Daddy can still get money. I don't think so. We wouldn't have needed to sell off the nice furniture. I think it's good that we sold it. More room to run around now. <laughs> A train! You do. <laughs> you didn't get chewed to death by rats last night, then? No. Mother says it's probably just one mouse. Ah. Bachelor, is he? Lives alone. <laughs> just ignore me. Half of everything I say is more or less complete nonsense. The trick is trying to guess which half. Oh. Mrs. Ransom, off somewhere nice or to your sister's? The carriage was dusty last time. Oh, was it? Oh, I'm sorry. Although, I have to say, the chief cause of dust on the trains is actually dusty passengers. Oh, um, thank you for carrying our things last night. Oh, heavens, there's no need to thank me. It's my job. We come from London. Oh, London. How is London these days? We had to sell some of our furniture. Oh. What was wrong with it? Uh, don't listen. She just, um, says things. Excuse me. You getting on the train? Nope. We're stuck here for the time being. Well, go and sit somewhere, if you be so kind. You're impeding free movement. You 
mask. Hello? <clears throat> We're all wondering if we could light a fire. No, loves. Cold is so dear. If you're cold, dress up more warmly. I hate being cold. I hate being able to only have jam or butter at tea time. Don't go on, Phil. I mean, you're supposed to have them together. It's like steak and kidney. I'm going on a lone adventure. What? I can't tell you what it is, because it may be wrong, and I don't want to drag you into it. Can I be the damsel in distress next time? I'm always a savage. Damsel? Damsel's a type of plum. Oh, Peter, don't do it if it's wrong, or we should all do it together. No, you can't come. It's a lone adventure. Tell that to the Marines. Come along to the station. No, no, not the police station. You and that boy from Three Chimneys, aren't you? Is there anyone else in your gang? No, honestly, I promise. Only us. Oh. Right. Look at you. So nicely dressed and all. Haven't you been to church? Don't you know it's wrong to steal? I didn't think it was stealing. I only took it from the middle of the heap so it counts as mining. It'll take you thousands of years to burn up all that coal. Not quite. Poorer folks scrimp and save for coal. You lot can afford it. But you think it's yours by right. No! At our other house, we always used to have fires when it was cold. Now Mother says we're too poor to have a fire now. Peter, don't. <clears throat> they, they actually had to sell all the furniture. Thank you for your contribution, Mr. Brooks. Highly welcome. Well, perhaps I was a bit harsh. But remember, stealing is stealing why ever you do it. I'll overlook it this time. Now, get along home. Thank you. Thank you. You're a darling. That's all right. Peter. Don't speak to me. You're spies and traitors. I'm not even sure, actually, that mining is a crime. The Green Dragon's three and a quarter minutes late. I wish it could take our love to Father. I wonder why he doesn't write to us. Mm. I really miss him. Me too. I'm afraid he'll forget about us. He won't, Phil. He's probably terribly busy. That's why it's called being away on busyness. Is that true? Let's all wave at the Green Dragon as it goes by. It might understand if we take our love to him in London. Yes, why not?
don't we go to the station anymore? Because we might meet the station master. I'm not scared of the station master. Tell that to the Marines. <laughs> Last, a sensible editor has taken my story. Oh, well done, Mother. <laughs> well, we could do with the money, and that's the truth. Oh, let's buy a big something. <laughs> Does this mean we can afford to go back to London? No, better than that, we can celebrate with buns for tea. Oh. Morning. Good morning. Excuse me. I'd rather you weren't polite to me. Beg your pardon? I think you're being polite to me because you don't remember that it was me who took the coal. And it was. I'm sorry. Oh, don't you worry about that. Let bygones be bygones. What you got there? Buns. Oh, I thought you were all so poor. Mother sold the story. We're going to have buns every time she sells a poem or a story. Oh, poems and stories, is it? Well, you ought to be proud to have such a clever mother. Yes. Although we preferred it when she didn't have to be clever and she could play with us. Well, you should look into the station whenever you fancy it. Yes. We might well do that. Thank you.